I'm not trying to scare nobody, but has anyone ever seen a baby pigeon? I see baby birds all the time, but not once in my life have I seen a baby pigeon. For today's video, I'm very, very excited because let me show you what we're gonna get into today. I can't even lift these up. It's a massive haul, and I went to the biggest Dollar Tree there is. And you know where that is? Upstairs in my craft room. That's right. Today, I shopped at my own personal Dollar Tree store. And I was up there getting the media room ready. I'm very excited. I've been online shopping to finish some things up and the media guest bathroom too. Um, I'm just very excited to share that with you guys. But anyways, I was up there and ventured into the craft room that's still a hot mess. And I was looking through some really old stuff from hauls, year, you know, some of them months ago, some of them years ago. And I said, we've got to look at this stuff again because it's just so amazing. And um, I wanna share that with you guys. Plus, at the end, I'm gonna do another collection of my Dollar Tree puzzles. However, because the upstairs, a lot of it's still in boxes, I don't think we're gonna be looking at my full entire collection. Um, so I just kind of pulled what, what I found and what was already available to the eye. But anyway, that's that. So let's just go ahead and dive in. I, oh my gosh. As I started looking through this stuff, I was just like, they're gonna freak out. And I know I've gotten a lot of new subscribers too, so I thought this would be like a really good way for a lot of you to um, maybe seeing my videos for the first time that you can just kind of see my style of things that I love to buy at Dollar Tree and um, previous things just in case maybe like you're new to, to shopping at Dollar Tree. Um, now, not everything is going to be available because, you know, Dollar Tree 1 is not equal across all stores, which is frustrating. And 2, they're constantly putting in new things, so not everything is still available. Actually, the first thing that I want to start with are some more canvas prints. They were in my last collection video, and then I found more, and they are so freaking cute. How could we have forgotten about these? Look at that. I love it. It has that Kate Spade look. I'm telling you, if you need to redo a room, I mean, right now is the time. We're all at home, and, you know, I was watching Liz from Traditions by the Seasons. I think she was talking about her bathroom, and she was just kind of talking about revisiting rooms and you know making some decisions I don't know that's just where my mind went when I saw some of these and I thought you know a dollar and you can make yourself a really cute little makeup vanity section I don't know whatever and that one is so pretty but this one is probably my favorite all right so that's that out of the way we're gonna look at the puzzles at the end okay the first thing we're going to look at is this composition notebook. I love the donuts. You're going to see a theme throughout everything I show you. There's going to be a lot of pastels, and this is pretty much a very girly haul, which I think one of you asked when I did a farmhouse theme style Dollar Tree haul. I'll link those videos down below. There's a two-parter of everything that I've shopped for at Dollar Tree that has a farmhouse feel in my opinion. And then one of you left me a comment saying, can you do a girly theme? I think this is probably as girly as it gets if you're into planning and like little crafts. I have not been using my happy planner for a while, but I've been obsessed with using Dollar Tree composition notebooks as my temporary planner. You know, no big deal, it's just plain paper. I just write one, two, three on my to-do list for the day. And I've gone through at least five composition notebooks doing that. Love it, simple, it's not a big deal, and just really works, works out for me. The next things that I wanna share with you guys, um, I was hauling you know, here, there, as I was finding them, and this is also kind of a collection. But they are the uh, classroom decors in the teaching tree section but what's really cool about them is how cute i think they are yes they're a little bit big but you could definitely cut these up maybe slice them in half and add them to the edge you know of a planner spread this one the fall 
apples. I don't even know if these will come back out or if they're still available, but I'm obsessed. I love the forest pine trees. You could do like a summer camping theme. The watermelon and pineapple. So don't sleep on these little classroom decors. They're really cute. All right, uh, you know that if I'm gonna show you a throwback haul, we're gonna see some keychains. But these are really chic. I mean, who would think that they were a dollar? And actually, these are very trendy right now. Uh, the like the you know name brand like Louis Vuitton and adding them to your keychain. It is, and that way you're not having to take a wallet around. You can just fit in, you know, a debit card, some cash. These are everything. Actually, just thinking that out loud, I'm gonna put one of these on my keychain as well and they even have the cute little tassel i love the monochromatic looks of those and here are some little wow like these are just so beautiful can't believe they're a dollar i'm sure that i probably have other colors but like i said things are just kind of flying everywhere and these pom-poms are probably some of the best that i've ever seen at dollar tree like the little clasp is really nice Attach these to a purse, to your planner, to a backpack, you know, a cute little backpack. Actually, I want to get my Amazon one back out and add one of these because it would be a really cute spring touch. But my black one with the gold trim, definitely going to do that. So I'm going to put that aside over there. Okay, this is kind of random, but I love using this stuff whenever I'm crafting or in my craft room. And they are the hoop and loop fasteners. These come in handy when you want to create like little Velcro strips to add things to your planner binders or cards. I know this may be confusing and like what does that mean, but uh, if you watch my planner videos, you probably have seen me use this time and time again. But yeah, so there's that. Who remembers these? Yeah, we're talking about the Dollar Tree in case you missed it. But what? So beautiful and I love how they each have like the same color of that okay some of these are a little collection so let me try to get them situated so that we're looking at them okay the next one are foam mounting dots these are gonna be great too to do any sort of crafting you know planning I'll have to link my planner playlist down below for you guys so that you can maybe see what I'm talking about. Self-laminating sheets. These are actually pretty good quality, especially if you don't have a, a self-laminator machine thing. Is that, I didn't say that right, did I? But um, obviously you only get this one size. I think it's like four by six, but still really good. Okay, let me combine those together. That goes over there. All right, so then this cute little notebook. I just love collecting notebooks from Dollar Tree and I do end up using them. I keep them by like my computer and I'll write like things down that I just need to jot down pretty quickly. So it always comes in handy to have notebooks and I love that they're cute. You know, I'd rather have a cute notebook than something that's just kind of plain and boring. These are just sticky notes. The amount of sticky notes that I have in my collection is intense. We're gonna see some of that in today's video. Then there are these that are magnetic and you can add them to your fridge. Currently I have one that looks like a carrot. I'll try to insert a clip here. The one that I got from Dollar Tree I think has carrots on it, I'm not sure. It has like a farmhouse look. The lemon and lime. Isn't that just stunning? This one is very summery. I think I got this one last year. And I also love how it kind of looks 80s with the color blocking, kind of. Here's another lemon one. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I forgot about that one. Um, okay, then there are these really cute journal. They're mini journals and sticky notes. At first I thought they were all sticky notes but they're not. Some of them are actually little journals like they said and then these are the sticky notes. So this is the journal. Isn't that just adorable? And I don't think I've seen Dollar Tree do do these ever again. I hope they do and they come out with like different different stuff. 
Dollar Tree is always doing a lot of the same kind of styles like donuts, flamingos, llamas. So whenever they do stuff like this, I really love and appreciate. Isn't that cool? But yeah, so anyway. All right. Wow, this bag is... I'm having to... Oh, girl, this is making me sweat. Okay, is that... That's a collection. A lot of this is a collection. And I really should kind of go through this. These are all of the puzzles. Yeah, so those we're going to look at last. Here's another cute little notepad. This is by Crown Jewels, which isn't a Dollar Tree brand. I'm not sure, I'm just kind of guessing. The only reason why I'm guessing that is because it has its own company name and address. It doesn't say Greenbrier. So if you see anything that says Greenbrier, that's something that I think is manufactured out of like the Dollar Tree plants or warehouses or whatever they're doing. So Crown Jewels is something completely different. Here are some donut stickers. They have little sprinkles and glitter. You can hear that. They're puffy. I think these are kind of recent, weren't they? I'm not really sure. Okay, then here is a collection. Let me make sure. All right, now here's one. Oh, I found the collection. Hold on, let's look at that. I found the collection that goes to the pineapple. Yeah, so that's a, another thing. Whenever you see Crown Jewels, it's not just one thing. They put out a whole line that matches. So here's a little notepad that flips up. There's a journal. And I love how it has like that blue jean look. It looks real, doesn't it? Like it looks like it's fabric. And the sticker sheet. And you'll see a theme of that because there's other Crown Jewels stuff that we're going to look at. Here's another little notebook. And then here's a, another little notepad. Pineapples are so cute. But yeah, so adorable collections. I love collecting all the Crown Jewel stuff. And then let's look at this collection over here. Then we have stuff that looks like this. And this is Greenbrier. So this is Dollar Tree. So you have the journal. And I love how it has that, um, who's the, who's the designer that does blankets and stuff and there, she's in the mall. My daughter has one of her blankets. She got it as a gift, but I forget what the name of it is, but it looks like that designer. If you know what I'm talking about, comment down below. I don't know if you can also see that gold foil. It's kind of, it's kind of hard to see. Here is a little notepad and it's the kind that flips up. What is that name? It's gonna bother me now. Isn't this beautiful? And then here's a magnetic list pad. And then the last thing is this, uh, another notepad. Yeah, it's a full little collection. Yeah. So that's Dollar Tree, so you can see the difference. Crown Jewels always has like these really vibrant, really unique Oh, here's another thing that goes with that Dollar Tree. Yeah, because you can see the pineapple print there. Okay, this is a full collection. I'm trying to get this situated so that... Um, that should go here. Here's another Crown Jewels. So we're going to take a look at another one. That's another one too. Wow. Wait, which one does this... Okay, this one goes with this one. So here's a llama one, and you can see the, I love how soft and pastel -y the colors are on this one, and that. even the rings are pretty, the pink color. I just love paying attention to all the detail because I just appreciate that so much, considering we're getting this stuff, I think, like, it's like highway robbery, you know, it's a dollar. Here's a little... Notepad. I love the flags at the top too. Very fun. And this sticker sheet. So just like the pineapple set, they always seem to do like the same little products. Wow, right? Unfortunately, you won't see those again at Dollar Tree. You know, that's kind of the, the point I was making. Um, or the point I usually make in my videos. Like, that's why I'm so shocked and impressed. 
because I know you'll never kind of see them again. And then here's another little collection, but all I found are the three things. So I'm obviously missing two or three things from the set. But again, this is Crown Jewels. Oh my gosh, absolutely love this stuff. Here's a random, another little notepad. It kind of matches that one I showed you guys earlier. This is Dollar Tree. Isn't that cute? And then Dollar Tree also does these little activity uh, paper pads. Definitely don't pass up on these. They're very cute. You could cut these into the little boxes and fit them into your Erin Condren or Happy Planner or whatever planners are popular nowadays. I've been so out of the game with that. I don't even know if there's any anyone new to the scene or what. Then Dollar Tree does stuff like this with these really fun, kooky, quirky um, little sticky notes. It's like a speech bubble, but it looks like a cloud. And here is another one of those with the donuts. Then they put out this stuff. I probably have a full collection of this, but this is all that I found. And then they even punch the holes so that it can fit into an A5. When Dollar Tree started doing this, I was very shocked. And I think they're still trying to do this too. And the fact that they even gave us something worthy or comparable to the stuff that you get from Etsy was just out of this world. I could not believe they were doing this. And I think that this even came with a planner binder. I'm not sure, but I never found it. Comment down below if that's right, if there was a binder that matched this, but I never once got my hands on it. Then the next thing, and I'm obsessed with this, I still haven't dug into it yet, but I'm gonna use it. It's yellow. I'm very attracted to yellow. It's very bright and obviously sunny and it's just yellow is just such a beautiful color And I love that it says blah blah blah. I think that's freaking hilarious um, Yeah, so I'm gonna use that really soon. Here is another collection of crown jewels It has a more mature right these were kind of cheeky and fun and you know, this one has, if you have, you know, a certain style. Um, so you've got, and it has like a rose gold foil. My voice, I'm kind of losing my voice. Oh, I love the polka dots. Love that. Here is the sticker sheet. Very trendy. And I think this one was a while ago. I feel like this one was a year or maybe more. And then here's a notebook. Very Kate Spade. I feel like I've been throwing out Kate Spade around lately, but anytime I see black or lines in pink, I my mind goes to that designer. And then the last collection before we get into the puzzles. Oh my gosh, I remember all of this. I've had this for a while, years, years, years at least more than two and they did a whole color collection so here is what i have for the yellow has a pineapple look and it's also crown jewels again by the way and then here is the green collection also three items in the green collection and i feel like they nailed it pineapple definitely should be yellow cactus should be green just to give you guys a close shot. Then the blue, or what color would you say this is? Tiffany blue. They did a unicorn. And then I feel like I, I didn't complete the collection of one of these. I was missing like one item and then I ended up finding it. I think that's what I remember. And here in the pink is Flamingo. Oh my gosh, what? Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, obviously still in its packaging, so it's nice and clean, but eventually, eventually, I will get around to using it. I might be 60, but I'm gonna use it. So, um, all right, so then the last thing, as usual, this leg just, whenever I sit, my legs go to sleep. Okay, then the last things are the puzzles. Um, some of them are just so pretty. I'm actually gonna whip one of these out and work on them. I love the spring. 
look to that. And it's funny because when I've been in the Dollar Trees uh, since the um, whole situation, there are no puzzles to be found. People have definitely been picking it up to have something to do. The fashion girls are really cool. 300 pieces. That one was a really good find. That one is so adorable. All of them. I love, obviously, I wouldn't buy, I wouldn't buy something if I didn't like it. Obviously, I'm starting to do, like, those different parts of my videos where I've done, like, items I would never buy, um, as informational videos, or my hell no's, which I know I haven't done a hell no in a while. This is Norman Rockwell, by the way. Rockwell? Norman Rockwell? Um, but, yeah, a lot of people always ask me, like, what do you do with all that stuff? You know, if you're, well, you know, one, I, one, I love it. <laughs> I just love buying stuff and sharing it with you guys, too. It's also, you know, part of my, my YouTube branding. I love this coffee one. I remember calling that one. That one looks really hard. This one's really cute, too. It has that farmhouse truck. You can see all the flowers in the bed. And actually, they cut off the image a little bit in the front, so you need to look on the back to see, like, the full, the full thing. But here's this one. Very French cafe. So I like that one. Uh, this one is very fall. Wow, I didn't know that Dollar Tree was doing a thousand pieces. This is like the first, is it the first a thousand one? I think it is. And oh my gosh, look how hard that looks. Ooh, I want to try this one. I feel like I should start off small. Or I'll never do it. And then this one, I remember. I remember finding this one. I was just like, yep. Put it in my basket without even a second. Without even a second damn thought. Dollar Tree Puzzles. That's where it's at. The quality of the actual pieces, sometimes they kind of stick together. As if they weren't laser cut all the way through sometimes. Um, but you know, for a dollar, it's not every piece. Um, so it's it's all right But yeah, so that was today's video. Hope that you guys enjoyed Shopping with me at the biggest Dollar Tree store around my own personal store and That's it for today's video uh, Let me know your thoughts on the baby pigeon thing because um, that kind of freaks me out